man on his way to work pulled over to check on a driver in a ditch. Little did he know the man inside that car would soon face charges in connection to a violent traffic altercation just moments before. This is Wave News at 11. I'm Noelle Friel. For the first time, we're hearing from the man who found the suspect shot on the side of the road. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes has more on the witness's effort to help. An attempted carjacking turned shooting turned car crash all in a matter of minutes of a busy interstate in Oklahoma Thursday. It was a confusing series of events that Nicholas Fidelli found himself on the tail end of just trying to help. Nicholas Fidelity was pulling out of his driveway onto the outer loop on a rainy but otherwise ordinary Thursday morning. But then he spotted something coming down the road that didn't seem quite right. I saw a vehicle coming up the wrong direction. So I slowed down a little bit and he just rolled right into that ditch. Fidelity pulled over and jumped out to help, running up to a smashed up Hyundai. Asked him if he was doing okay. I was like, hey man, you doing all right? I got no response. Sat there for a second, another pedestrian came up, went up and talked to her, cause she was seeing if we were okay. That's when we both heard him say he'd been shot. So I immediately took my shirt off ran over to him and started applying pressure. Little did the Good Samaritan know the wounded driver, 45 year old Jason Calhoun, had allegedly beaten and strangled a man he carjacked on the outer loop exit of I-65 just minutes before the crash. The Hyundai he was sitting in was that victim's vehicle. The gunshot wound Fidelity was applying pressure to coming from the barrel of that victim's gun. Before this accident came out, we were alerted about a, a fight that was occurring on 65. We believe that both of these are going to be uh, related. That was LMPD just an hour after Calhoun was taken to the hospital. Later that day, LMPD's arrest report would paint a clearer picture of how the fight played out. According to police, Calhoun tried to carjack a driver broken down on I-65, leading to a bizarre fight in which Calhoun would allegedly try to take the driver's gun and his eyeball. When Calhoun placed him in a headlock, the driver fired multiple shots. When he tried to drive away in the stolen car, Calhoun was hit by a semi truck. Fidelity would find Calhoun moments later in a ditch. I mean, I just went into, you know, trying to help him out. I mean, it wasn't like a huge shock or anything. It was just instincts, I guess. Fidelity says he didn't know the full story behind Calhoun's wounds until the next day. Even if he did, he says it wouldn't have changed his efforts to help. Now, as of tonight, Calhoun is still in the hospital, facing multiple charges in the alleged carjacking, including attempted murder and robbery. We still don't know the extent of his injuries of the man police say he carjacked. We sure to bring you updates as we learn more. Lena Noakes, Wave News.